Here we go, we're coming at. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, bloody hell, Martin's going for it today. He's been to the gym. Jesus. <laughs> <sighs> not checking the manual we know exactly what we're doing uh, we're just checking that the manual knows what it's doing this is all just adding to the drama of the youtube video i haven't even done anything yet and i'm already feeling <laughs> what a massive bee obviously on this side we've done some work down this end we're not doing the work this and because this bit's just going to be chopped off and replaced. We have a replacement patch part for this. So as uh, nice as it would be to sit here with the sandblaster uh, and make it all look pretty, uh, there's no point. We're going to chop it off. So, you know, that lower part of this wing is going to be chopped off. We're only doing one side of the car because Martin is experienced in this. And he says the other side, while it's also rusty and awful, is quite original. So if we can look at it, we're going to be able to when we put this one back together, work out exactly, you know, positioning, shut lines, fitment and everything from the other side. So there's no point working on both of them at the same time because you lose that important information. Also, as a second point, as part of the modernizing of this car, these are going to come off. Uh, some of them actually, particularly the uh, convertible versions of the car, don't have these rubbing strips or car park strips or whatever, <laughs> whatever you want to call them. And it looks much cleaner and it looks a bit curvier, so I'm gonna get rid of those. Also, this is the most horrible indicator light ever. So I'm thinking we're gonna do a different design here. You know, I'm saying all of this very bold and sure of what's possible. Um, there's a lot to work out, but yeah, I want to make the side look a little bit cleaner. And these wing mirrors are awful. There are some ones that came on the later model 968s that were, I think they're called like aero mirrors, look a bit more modern. These look really utilitarian, have these great big plastic rubber bits on them, which is horrible. Martin said he thinks the uh, handles come from a Volkswagen Golf, maybe, or something similar to that. Um, so we might be able to even get some sort of like reconditioned or nearly new ones of those. But actually, I don't like the handles either, to be fair. <laughs> so, you know, we might try and uh, modernize the look of the handle, although modernizing the mechanism is well beyond what we uh, would want to do. It might just be modernizing the sort of outer appearance, but we can't really do anything about how it mechanically works without going down a whole rabbit hole of terror. You know, I might be able to 3D print uh, an outer shell by scanning it and then do a, an outer shell that extends just a little bit bigger because handles tend to be a bit chunkier on cars these days anyway. So something that actually sits over the top of this and is bonded onto it uh, that has a slightly sleeker design. I've obviously said before that I'm thinking we might fabricate something here I'm trying to make an excuse for buying a very expensive CNC machine that could actually cut large things out. But what we are going to do definitely is scan this, take it off, scan what's underneath so that we can work out how it would mount. But I've been thinking about the pop-up lights. And I, you know, the pop-up lights on a 944 are really, really high. They're like right up here because there's a big circular light. It's not like a Honda NSX, which is like a lower one with a thin light, which is what I kind of like. I think that's really cool. But I was wondering whether we could, and this will be a lot of fabrication, flip it so that instead of the, back, the, the front of the light going up, the back of the light goes down to being level, and then you're left with a thin light there. There are definitely like clear lenses that you can get here that would give you that back light. I don't like the look of those. Um, I think it'd be cooler to leave it looking original with what people think are pop-up lights. Pop, 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 and instead have pop-down lights. We can coin pop down lights. I don't know, that could be a thing. So I'm thinking about that for this area. And then further down here, probably some other lights as well that um, a lot of cars will have like, you know, daytime running lights and things like that. But I really want to modernize the bumper and it definitely needs like a lip that protrudes forward a little bit at the bottom as well, because it sort of curves away to nothing. Um, so yeah, getting some ideas for the front, but we're a long way from that. Uh, got to get the thing structurally sound which is uh, going to take a while oh on the inside we've had some progress can I, open it? I think you can yeah it was at this moment that he knew he up. give it a tug at the same time oh, hang on it doesn't open at all now Martin <laughs> oh, no. oh no we have lost the door oh 
I'll see if I can get to the mechanism. I have got the key. That's not the key. The lock isn't quite moving. Aha! Welcome to the interior of the car. So, <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but um, yeah, we've taken out most of what's in here other than, well, this looks like, oh, I did not know it became like a weird hatchback. Oh no, it's more than hatchback. It just comes straight off. Okay, I didn't know this. Um, so the interior, we've, we have found loads of stuff in here. There was door cards and paneling and bits and bobs, which is actually gonna be really useful to form like a template or a basis for what we end up doing in the interior. What's really good though, is this is still in and underneath here, you can see the frame that the, the whole dashboard is built upon. If we're gonna build a new dashboard, having that frame already, massively useful. So I don't like the design and this one's cracked. This happens a lot with 944 dashboards. They crack as they get older. Uh, materials back then, I don't know, they weren't as good as they are today, but it does give us a frame to build something upon. Again, we'll be using 3D scanning, doing some designs. The steering wheel, well, I was gonna say the steering wheel is fixed in its position. Clearly this one is a little less fixed than some. Um, but yeah, the steering wheel doesn't actually like move out for reach or change uh, for, I think it's called rake, rake and reach. Um, but Maybe, you know, this is something that we could look at when updating the car to put a different steering rack in it. That might be prohibitively problematic. <laughs> prohibitively problematic. It might be a problem, um, but we'll see. I think uh, I, I asked Martin what this weird grating was behind the steering wheel. Apparently, that is like um, a crumple zone back in the old days. So, you know, that this could crush into something. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure that would uh, cut cut the mustard with uh, safety these days. But yeah, uh, most of the interior is out. We do want to actually take it all out, this horrible old sound editing, uh, get it back to the metal, but the inner sills, and this is like an area that goes on 944s, and when it does go, this part goes, um, you're in for some major expense, 10,000 pounds maybe. They are good on this car. So we do have a solid foundation to build upon. But yeah, there's an awful lot uh, to do in this interior. And it's really small. It's not a lot of room in here. Um, but having now sat in a different 944, which has an interior, I feel like the seat could do with going back a scooch, especially if you can make for a slightly deeper dashboard, which would be a more modern dashboard. There's a long way to go. Lots of things to do. I don't know if I can get out. Tom, I'm stuck. Oh. <laughs> So today, guys, I don't feel like I'm being half as useful to Martin as I was the other day. Um, hopefully I will become more useful and maybe have a go at welding and everything. <laughs> but we'll see. So when we're looking about where batteries might go in this car, obviously at the mo obviously in an original one of these, this is where your engine would sit. There isn't going to be an engine here. This will be batteries. So you typically put the batteries in a box to weather shield them and to stop people getting electrocuted and all sorts of things. So there will be a battery box in here. Again, as I said, the batteries are really heavy, so they need to sit on some good structural areas of the car. So there'll be a battery box in here. It will probably extend down there. So again, engine would have been here, drive shaft going down to the gearbox at the back. That's fair game down there for batteries as well. So you put loads of batteries at the front to balance it out batteries down the middle of the car and then as we get towards the back of the car in that gap there that you can see through here is where your tesla motor your drive unit will go right in the middle there it's actually very convenient because it had a transaxle gearbox a big hefty thing there this is a car that actually has a space for an electric motor i didn't know that when i picked it uh it was, it was kind of at random but like right between the two wheels is where you want an electric motor to go so the drive shafts just go straight out it's a perfect car for it uh, which means we have a high boot and now actually if you look in the boot he says moving some stuff out of the way yeah 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 we'll we'll work around you martin it's all good because so in the boot here underneath here is where the electric motor will go 
Potentially you can fit more batteries underneath here as well, but you've got this great big uh, place where the spare wheel would have gone. So you have these two cavities on either side and the great big gap where the spare wheel was. We can cut this out and make a room for a battery pack at the back of the car as well. And maybe even down these edges. And if we wanted even more, there's where the back seats were. So there's all sorts of space in the car for batteries. The issue being is weight distribution. If you put something really, really, really heavy far back in the car or far forward in the car, it's gonna affect the handling. So it's gonna be a balance about what kind of mileage we're trying to get versus the weight we're gonna to add to the car and how much we're gonna add. This isn't like gonna be an occasional car, like a weekend car. So if it can only do 150 miles, 160 miles, that's absolutely fine. Um, better that it's like that and the handling is good and it feels like a Porsche rather than trying to stretch for 200 miles or even more and it just feels like a big weighty boring car uh, that doesn't handle very well so that's all yet to work out but there's loads of room for us to put batteries in so that's cool as well. Guys I don't know if you're looking to get into a project like this yourself but I have to tell you it is hard work working on cars you like your fingers get dirty and they hurt you know, your shoulders, you're kneeling down on the floor and your knees hurt. Whew, I am knackered from all of this work that I am doing. I don't recommend it. It's not like standing around in the sun and chatting with your friend who's on the camera. It is, you know, hard labor, nose to the grindstone kind of stuff. I mean, look at Martin. <laughs> he won't let me have a go. <laughs> I want to have a go at this bit. He doesn't trust me. He thinks I'm gonna do something wrong. He's probably right. But I tell you, when the welder gets out, I'll wrestle him. I'll wrestle him out of the way so that I can have a go with that. I've angle grinded stuff in the past. My trousers have caught fire. We don't need to go into that. But I'm not wearing trousers today so they couldn't catch fire. So I got shorts on. Uh, I mean, Martin's trousers are barely on as it is. So <laughs> We wanna hear your comments. Do put them down below. If I don't know the answers, and I probably won't, Martin probably does. And do like and subscribe. Really, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Cruising.